Yo, what's up my dudes? This is Led here. Today I got a tutorial video for you. Um, it's on how to build your own cannon testing server. So I got this request from a lot of people and I've been debating making it for a while and I'm finally doing it now. So um, in the description below I included a server.zip file. You want to make sure you download that first. And here we go. We're going to extract files. Leaves us with a server.folder. Let's bring this over here. Now inside the server folder, we have a plugins folder, paper spigot.jar, and a start.bat file. What first thing you want to do is take this plugins folder, put it on your desktop. We don't need it right now. And we're going to run the start.bat file. Now, Windows might warn you and say like, oh, don't open the bat file. It could be a virus or whatever. Don't worry about that. It's not a virus. I'm not trying to hack your computer. I'm just trying to show you how to make your own server. So yeah, run the start.bat and what it's doing here in command line, it is creating a server for you. All right, and as you can see here, the server is done being created. So we can open up our Minecraft. And we will actually join this new world that we just created. So what you want to do is go to multiplayer, add server, server address, you want to put localhost. Localhost, just like that. Go all the way down to the bottom here, and you'll see a Minecraft server. This is the server we just created using that start.bat file. Now, this server is based on Paper Spigot. Paper Spigot is what all the big faction servers, controller, origin, um, even the Archon now, it's all paper spigot based. This is our console. This is where you'll enter all your commands. It's console. Um, we're going to just type stop into our server here. It's going to stop the server just like that. Now we're going to go back to our plugins folder that we moved earlier to our desktop. Let's open that. Now in here I have dispenser tools which you use to fill your dispensers with TNT um, essentials factions. Um, the reason I included factions is because I don't like to use world guard. I like to uh, when I'm testing my cannons I will claim them with safe zone. It's a really easy way to test cannons without water and not have your cannons blow up. So I will claim with safe zone and test cannons that way. Um, I have just sponge which basically just enables sponge. Um, massive core I think is a part of factions. Obsidian destroyer obviously and world edit you want to go into your plugins folder now that your server created and you'll notice there's nothing in here but this plugin metrics folder so take all these from the plugins folder that you downloaded we're going to move them into the plugins folder that your server created and then we're just going to hit start again what it's going to do it's going to install each one of those plugins one by one all right, and next we want to do here is go back to our folder where our start.bat originally was, and we want to open up the spigot.yml file. You can open it with Notepad, WordPad. I use Notepad++. I think it's really nice the way it lays out. And we're looking for something called max TNT per tick, and what that does, it's basically our TNT entity cap. It's de it's by default set at 100. As you can see, it's all the way at the bottom here. We want to change that to 3,000, which is probably enough. You can make it higher. Uh, I probably won't go any lower than that in case you're making like nukers and stuff. But yeah, let's change that to, to um, 3,000. Hit save. And then we're basically ready to go here. If we would try to cannon right now, cannons would work fine. Big cannons would work fine. But what we're going to add is some of the uh, special features of paper spigot what makes it special so let's open the paper.yml file with notepad plus plus and now here if we scroll down we will find a flag called load chunks you'll see ender pearls tnt entities falling blocks if we set tnt entities to true and falling blocks to true and hit save what that'll do 
is TNT will now load chunks for us. Oh, and sand. Um, yeah, so you could shoot something 80 chunks away and the TNT would sa and sand would automatically load chunks for you. Something built into Paper Spigot by default, which is really awesome for cannon testing, so you don't have to have alts on while testing your cannons at 20 chunks plus. And that's basically it. If we go back to Minecraft here, you can see it's just everything we would ever need in a server is here. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. You actually learned something. If you have any questions or anything, just make sure you leave them in the comment section, and I will try my best to help you guys out. Uh, I try to make it as easy as possible. I didn't go through how to build your own server jar. That might be for another tutorial. I don't know. might be too complicated. We'll see how this goes. But um, yeah, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.